But did you know that brewing beer goes back about 5,000 years and it seems that humans just can't get enough? Well, a relatively young brewery down in Broussard is making its mark on Louisiana culture. And I recently took a trip out there and got a taste. We took a trip down to the Parish Brewing Company in Broussard. Andrew Godley realized there was a market for craft beer in Louisiana, but he didn't take the traditional path that most brewers choose. I, I went about it a little, little differently. I was a chemical engineer and I worked at a manufacturing facility here in Lafayette making catalysts for the petroleum refining industry. And um, I was becoming an expert in uh, chemical manufacturing. So you, you turn your chemical engineering knowledge That's right. into beer. Now, this did is, you already have a love for beer? Oh, yes, of okay. course. I mean, yeah. I mean, I was drinking beer everywhere I went. I was traveling all over the world. I mean, I was, we had a sister chemical plant in Luxembourg, which is, you know, between France and Germany and right, Belgium. Right, right. And uh, I mean, that's like the heart of where beer is born. There was a market here in Louisiana and people didn't even know it yet. And all we needed to do was create products that people right. would like and we would have a viable business. Cane Break was born right here in Lafayette and it's a huge hit all over the state. Places like New Orleans, are our largest market in New Orleans, that's a bottomless pit of beer consumption. Right. They just, if you make a good product, you can sell a ton of beer in New Orleans and there's never going to be enough. Ryan Spirer is the head brewer and he's been brewing for about seven years, including homebrew. After an exchange of emails and a tour, he signed on. If I jump from five gallons to 930 <laughs> gallons. Is he ready to take over the world? Not through any nefarious means. <laughs> okay. you know, we're going to do it by convincing people one at a time that you know our beer is the it's best. pretty good. It starts with raw materials. Some of those are local. So the uh, the sugarcane syrup is a big one uh, as a local ingredient. The mash tun is where it begins. The ingredients are mixed with hot water for sugar conversion. Uh, but we're going to take a sample so that we can see how sweet it is. Sweet. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. Yeah. But it does kind of taste like cereal. Mm -hmm. like. So that's what ends up becoming beer. <laughs> we'll add hops and sugarcane syrup. Right. And anything else you want to add to beer, you add it in the kettle. It's just like cooking, right? You, you, you set your pot up, make your gumbo, you throw everything in right, the gumbo, right. you boil it, you bring everything together. All the flavors marry. It eventually gets sent to the fermenter. After a while, it becomes beer. They bottle their beer right on site. So when you're done with the day, when you, when you close shop, how many beers have you bottled? Break out my calculator. <laughs> Well, it ended up being nearly 20,000 bottles, and it's all done at extreme pressure. So if we were looking at it from the backside, it would look like you're filling it with water, but as soon as it releases here, it just foams up immediately. Right, right. So the CO, that's a when you open yep. it up. Okay. Right. And finally, a cold one right off the line. Should we sell it? Mm, no, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> And then finally, finally, the very last step is called beer whispering, you know. How do you feel about the beer? Beer whispering? How do you feel <laughs> now that the beer's gone down? How does it make you feel? Are you comfortable? Are you mad? You I'm know? very comfortable with this particular beer. Well, cheers. This is easy going. Yeah, there you go. It really was a cool place out there. Just a disclaimer, I had two designated drivers. I tasted a little bit here and there, but we went ahead and played it safe. Now, Parish Brewery does have tours on Saturday. They have them at noon, one and two. You can go out there, but uh, every day except for Sunday, uh, you can head over to the tap room there and you can have a fresh one right off the line.